Okay, in this video, I'd like to introduce and discuss Newton's first law. And in the past, I've discussed Isaac Newton in general. And I've said that Newton's three laws, or his, his three classical laws, essentially govern the world around us, you know, per se. It, up till, we'll say, 1940, they definitely were able to describe almost everything which we as humans wanted to do in terms of engineering, physics, or some, you know, physically building things. It explained everything. And the first, or they explained everything. So, the statement of the first law is in front of you, and it reads, A body acted upon by zero net forces moves with constant velocity, which may be zero, and zero acceleration. And mathematically that means that sigma, capital sigma, is the sum of all the forces. If it equals zero, the body is in equilibrium. And that's pretty straightforward. You might also hear that a body uh, moves a constant velocity uh, if unless uh, constant velocity or at rest unless it's acted upon by a force. Now I prefer the statement in front of you. But the thing is, this, the statement is easy, and you might say, well, that's fine. Well, if some of the force is equal to F, then the body, or F, some of the force is equal to zero, the body is in equilibrium. But you need to read into it. It's, quite, it's, it's a lot more in it than, than you may think. The first one, it says that zero acceleration when the sum of the force is equal to zero. So I'd like to discuss what does the sum of the force is equal to zero actually mean. Now, I've said in the past that forces can be described by vectors. We've added vectors. We might have added vector, vector A and vector B, and we would get the sum of the vectors here. So this might be whatever, A, A plus B, let's say. But this is a vector B and this is a vector A. And I tried to motivate this in the past by saying that if you have an infinite, if you have, not, if you have a million vectors, and you want to know what the overall effect of these million vectors is, you just add them all together, and you only get one final vector, which tells you what the net result of all these forces or these vectors is. So, what if, what if I had two forces? I had, the, well, I'll say two vectors, excuse me. I had the vector A going this way, and the same length, it looked the same length, I had the vector B going this way. So this is negative B I hat, and this is positive A, um, I'll say they're calling the same vector, so they're the same length. Like that. All right, so this is two vectors going in the opposite direction. So what's the sum? The sum of the vectors a going from, uh, right? That's going to be equal to plus a minus a equals zero. So the net or the overall result of adding these, having these two vectors act on something is nothing. They do nothing to it. They cancel each other out. All right? So that's similar to this. We're saying where all the forces cancel each other out. We add them all and they all cancel. All right, then you have a body in equilibrium. Equilibrium means that it is, is it is, well, definitely it's at, it's at rest, for example, and yeah, I suppose the best way to describe it is that a body is at rest. So, a body acted upon by zero net forces, so where the overall result of all the forces, and that doesn't mean there, there are no forces acting on it, it just means the overall result of all of them is zero, then it moves at constant velocity, or at rest, and it has zero acceleration. So, the main thing to take out of this is as follows. Where the sum of the forces equals zero, A equals zero. Alright? And, if A is non-zero, if you have an acceleration, then the sum of the forces must be non-zero. And if that is non-zero, the body is not in equilibrium. Okay? And so it's not just about applying the, the law itself and understanding what it says. It means, well, what happens in a situation where this is not the case? For, for example, we have an acceleration, therefore we have an overall net force. All right? So, yes, if your body is at rest... Uh, sorry, excuse me, moving at constant velocity or at zero uh, velocity uh, and has, it, it, it has, I would say, a zero net acceleration, then there is an overall net force of equal to zero. And uh, that's the statement and a reasonable explanation, in my opinion, of uh, Newton's first law. So look, if there are any questions, please, please ask them because Newton's laws aren't as easy as you may think they are. And uh, 
put them in a comment in my video there underneath you, underneath this this video on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.